Hey Carmdale, Brandon Johnson here, your campus director. I'm here with Pastor John, and uh, just got a couple questions about theology and mission for our church. We've been studying through 2 Timothy, looking at what mission means for our community, for our neighborhoods, for work, for coffee shops. Uh, what about um, what about mission in thinking? when it comes to Sundays at our church. The Sunday gathering. Yeah, Sunday gatherings. Yeah. Well, um, about, a, about a year ago, I was at a, uh, a church, and um, when leaving the sanctuary and leaving the building, there was a sign over the door that said, you're now entering your mission field, right? And it's a pretty <laughs> common thing. And I thought, well, that's good. So you think that when you get into your car and you go home to your neighbors and stuff, that you need to be thinking about mission. But I thought it could be deceptive if you're if you assume that that mission doesn't need to happen in the context of when people are gathering together. So I, I do think biblically and practically we need to be thinking about mission on Sunday, specifically the time that we gather um, as a church. Uh, a couple things. One would be um, 1 Corinthians in chapter 14. Paul is writing about what happens when the church gathers and being sensitive to how that is perceived by somebody who's not a believer. And he's instructing the church to be really sensitive um, to the questions that they'll have and the understanding that they have and make sure they do things in a way that will make sense to um, an outsider. So Paul seems to be both assuming that skeptics, um, people who are you know either kicking the tires or peeking over the fence, the gospel, are going to be present when the church gathers, um, and he's also instructing the church to be sensitive to that. So I think we need to be sensitive to that as well, that we need to be doing what we do in a way that, is, that makes sense and also be aware that um, people who don't believe what we believe are going to be present, and we should think about that. Um, also, in another letter Paul writes in Romans 10 about how can they call on the one they don't believe in? How can they believe in the one they haven't heard? How can they hear without somebody preaching to them? And so it seems to be, even in the book of Acts, that the preaching of the gospel when God's people are gathered seems to be a fairly normative way in, um, that God uses and God works through um, to save people. And so I think, you know, biblically we need to be sensitive in thinking about mission on Sundays. And then just practically speaking, when somebody's life begins to unravel, um, yeah. when they get into, like we see a lot of young people who are having new kids and everything changes and there's, there's, um, there's new struggles and new issues to work through, um, at least in this culture, at this point in time, those people think, oh, I should go to church. And so if we're not mindful of that, um, we can miss the mission that's right in front of us, the mission that's actually coming to us on Sunday if we're not thinking about mission in that context.